discussing something with Mr. Jackson yesterday. Something like what? That Mr. Caleb is in prison. Yeah, he was arrested some weeks ago. Arrested? Why? What did he do? Nothing. He was arrested because of his wife. She died and her family arrested Caleb. Hmm, Daddy, there is something you are not telling me. But don't worry, I already heard the full gist. Who is the lawyer handling this case? I would like to work with him. What are you saying? What do you know about law? Daddy, have you forgotten that I am Inspector Jumbo, the crime fighter? Once I come into this matter, watch how everything will be settled, and Mr. Clegg will be released immediately. Jumbo, hope you didn't leave your brain behind in that coma you, you went into. No, Daddy, I even came back with extra brain. Really? Your little Jumbu? Hmm. But your son is still very small. What can he do? Hmm. Don't look down on my son, no. That boy you are seeing is called Small But Mighty. Do you know how many criminals he has exposed in this neighborhood? Even all these hoodlums are scared of Jumbu. He has big friends, both in the police and army department. That he reports crime to. Hmm, are you serious? So he said he has some evidence against the late Stella? Yeah, I think so. Cause he was planning to expose her before I spoiled his phone. That made him feel terribly sick. I just thank God he came back to life. Alright, that means I will be back here in the afternoon. When I'm sure that he must have been back from school. Okay, that's fine. I will be expecting you. Have a nice day, Dockers. Have a nice day, Clara. Hmm. Jumbo, how do you get all these videos? Daddy, that's why I am Inspector Jumbo, the detective officer. I began to track their movements and later found out the hotel where they usually meet. I went to the hotel and pretended to be a poor boy looking for jobs. They offered me the job of an assistant cleaner in that hotel. So that was how I was able to mount my camera and recorded everything those criminals were doing. Jumbo, you are too much. You can say that again, but please, next time, I would prefer you calling me Inspector Jumbo. My one and only Inspector Jumbo. The great detective officer. You can increase the volume, daddy. <laughs> this boy is the sweetest boy I've ever seen. Smart plus funny. Good day, young man. Are you Frank Donald? Yes, I am Frank Donald. Any problem? Mr. Frank Donald, you are under arrest. Under arrest? For what? What have I done? Why will you come to the church to arrest the man of God for no reason? Frank Donald, you have the right to remain silent because whatever you say now will be used against you in the court of law. Now, move. <laughs> Clara, my dear, thank you so much. You are the angel of my life. I will never love you less. You are the best. I love you too, sweetie. I'm so glad to have you within my arms. MD, I am sorry. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, pardon my mistakes. It's all right. Bro, I have forgiven you. Forgive me too for my craziness. You did nothing wrong, bro. You were just blunt in saying the truth. That's all. Jackson, you have indeed proven to me again that you are a good friend. I will never forget this. It's alright, Caleb. Let's go home. I'm glad you are finally out of here. I'm happy to see you all. I love you all.
Clara, you're not going anywhere. Jerry, why are you behaving like this? It is not fair. Shut up, your dirty mouth. I've told you that you are not stepping out of this house today. So you better don't dare if you don't want to see the other side of me. Jerry, you said you love me, isn't it? Stop asking stupid questions. Jerry, you don't love me. Jerry, if you truly love me, you won't be treating me like this. Madam, I don't have time to keep standing here listening to your rubbish. Just get inside and undress immediately. MD and Jackson, once again, I apologize for letting you down. For my stubbornness and how I treated you. I am so sorry. Forgive my sins. It's alright, Caleb. Let that be bygone. To A is human, as they say. No one is flawless. We make mistakes and learn from our mistakes. All we want you to do is to learn from your mistake and become a better person. Let me hit the nail on the head. Caleb, I want you to open your ears and listen attentively. Alright, I'm all ears. Go ahead. Caleb, hope you won't steal go hunting for a wife because i see no reason why you shouldn't marry that girl with immediate effect which girl are you talking about if you ask me that question again i will punch you which girl am i talking about if not clara caleb if not for that girl i don't think you will still be alive caleb clara loves you so much and i md is commanding you to marry her with immediate effect <laughs> MD, most times you say the truth with a funny tune. It's alright, I've heard you. King MD, your wish is my command. Good. If you don't have enough money to pay her dowry, don't worry. Just let me know, I will give you loan. MD, come on, must you add that? Crazy guy. <laughs>